We're gonna go get my very first axolotl. All right, guys. So this is the tank that we found while python hunting. And guys, yes, it is really, really dirty. Three, two. <gasps> guys, look at that. You can see that we have made tremendous progress. And then I'm gonna take this and put this one right about here. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, this is gonna take a second now. Okay, come on. Let's go this way, guy. Come on. Come on. What is up guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are having a great day so far So if you all are subscribed to my channel and watch my most recent video taking my boyfriend python hunting You'll see in the video that we found a used tank in a trash pile the tank we found is in great condition, but it is completely, completely dirty. Now with that tank today, I saw someone comment that I should get an axolotl, and I thought that would be a great idea to take that dirty tank and go get a new axolotl. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing here today. We're going to go get the tank, we're going to clean it up, we're going to get the supplies, and we're going to go get my very first axolotl. All right, guys, so this is the tank that we found while python hunting, and guys, yes, it is really really dirty there's stuffed cake on the side there is leftover rocks for whatever animal was in here whatever fish whatever whatever someone put in here and we are gonna have to clean this all out so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the garbage ready and i'm gonna start by getting the garbage and the rocks out so guys this is disgusting look how gross this has been sitting here for quite some time all of this is so nasty so we're gonna give this a nice big shake like that get as much as we can dump it in here and now we are going to start rinsing it so guys we got some dawn soap and we got a scrubber now the reason i'm using dawn soap and not a cleaner is because this can easily be rinsed out and if i use bleach guys i don't want the bleach to stay in here and possibly kill this axolotl so we're just going to give it a nice rinse okay Guys, look how caked on that is. That has been sitting in there for quite some time. It literally has taken the shape of the fish tank. So we're gonna rinse all this dirt up here, get it all loose, get up in here. And guys, we're gonna have to turn it on jet mode right here. And really spray. All right, guys, you can see it's definitely loosening it up, but we're gonna have to work on it just a little bit. I mean, look, look at that piece of newspaper right there. It literally will not come off. What the heck? All right, guys, so you can see we got it mostly rinsed off. We got all of the particles out, but now we have to do the scrubbing and the real cleaning. So I'm going to take this Dawn soap, and I'm just going to layer up the sides of this fish tank just like this. And then I'm going to take this scrubber that's really meant for a boat, and we're going to lather it up, and we're going to get this whole tank nice and wet just like this. And now, guys, we're going to get to scrubbing. Oh, my goodness, guys. Wait, wait. No, this is on the inside. I thought it was on the outside for a second. So let's see if we give this a, a big scrub like this. Guys, if you look closely, you can see all of this gross stuff that was on the side is finally coming up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if I rinse it off right here, you can see that it is slowly coming off, but we are gonna have to do some serious scrubbing. A few moments later. So guys, we have been working on this side for quite some time and now we're gonna do a reveal and see how much we've gotten off in three, two. <gasps> Guys, look at that. You can see that we have made tremendous progress. Now you can see the difference between this side and this side. Look how dirty the difference is. So we are getting somewhere, but it is gonna take quite some time to really scrub this tank. So I will be back with you all once it's all clean. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm convinced this is not even the same take. I mean, just look how clean we got this tank it was filthy before and now look where we have brought it and this tank is fully clean and it is ready for our axolotl to move in now guys we have to run to the pet store and we also have to run to Publix to get all the supplies we need for our axolotl and then we're gonna pick the little guy up so i'm gonna run inside get this dried off and we're gonna head to the store two thousand years later so we have our stuff that i just ran to the pet store and got now guys we're gonna do a reveal and we're gonna have to clean everything because there are a bunch of chemicals on it so the first thing i got is this little set that comes with about how many plants is it i think it's about one two three four five six different plants in this little container right here they're absolutely adorable we're gonna spread them throughout the tank so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take the scissors like this we're gonna cut the top off 
like that. And then guys, we are gonna start pulling out each plant. So first, I'm gonna take it like this. All right, guys, look how cute this is. Look at this tiny little plant right here, guys. This is absolutely adorable, oh my goodness. So guys, we're gonna take each and every one out like this without breaking it. Okay, guys. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna get to rinsing. So we're gonna start with this giant plant right here. We're just gonna give it a nice rinse, make sure we get everywhere. Okay. All right, guys, so we're gonna give it a nice shake and put it right here to start drying. Now we're gonna do that to this plant just like this, okay? Now we've got this rinse. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do that to these little plants and then we're gonna get into the others. So the next thing we got is this little tunnel right here with this little plant on it. Now the reason I got a little tunnel is because axolotls are very sensitive to the light and they're pretty timid creatures. So this is gonna be perfect for his new tank. So we're just gonna go ahead, give this a nice rinse, get in the tunnel, rinse the little plant, and then give it a nice Shape. put it here to dry and then the last little structure I got is this ginormous little tunnel that he gets to hide in and it has these cute little plants on it so we're gonna cut this off right here okay and now we are going to get to rinsing this we're gonna get inside the plant we're gonna get it all now guys, as we let our little shrubs dry and our tunnels dry, we are gonna get into putting this tank together. So now the last three things that I got is a filter to filter out the tank. I got the prime concentrated conditioner from marine and fresh water tanks right here. And then we got this live aquatic sand. Now the reason I'm using sand and not rocks is because axolotls are known for eating rocks. And guys, if this guy eats rocks, he's gonna get a blockage and then he's gonna pass on us. So stick with sand if you guys get an axolotl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the tank and start setting up. So guys, we picked a perfect spot for our tank. So we have it right here. And the reason why I'm using a towel and our board right here is because if you look right here, this is real wood. And you know, I don't wanna have any accidental spills with water, so we're gonna take it safe and we're gonna use this just in case we get water anywhere. So I'm gonna start by opening up this filter to see how we're gonna get this set up. Okay, so we're gonna take out the cord first. All right, oh, we're just gonna take it all out at once, okay. So now we're gonna start unboxing it. Okay guys, you can see there we have it. Now this filter is meant for a 10 gallon tank, so it is gonna be perfect for this 10 gallon tank. So now we're gonna grab the instructions right here and this little tube thing, and now we're gonna read it and see how to put this together. So we have the filter set up right here. Now all we have to do is install it, but guys, if you're asking what the heck is this little tube thing, well, if you look right here, guys, you can see these little holes on the bottom. Now we're gonna stick it in just like this. Because it has the suction cups. Now this is gonna be sticking out of the water. Now what this does it is it creates bubbles to add extra oxygen for this axolotl, which is gonna be perfect because these guys live full time in the water. So now we're gonna add the sand, add the water, add everything we need to do before we plug this in. So guys, without further ado, we're gonna take the sand just like this. We're gonna give it a little slit, just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna get to pouring. So we're probably gonna use this whole entire thing, but just to be safe, we're not gonna pour it all in. We're gonna spread it around and see how much we need. We might need to cut a bigger hole because this is gonna take quite some time. So we poured all the sand in now, guys, we have to spread it all around. So we're just gonna go on ahead and evenly spread it around to each corner. We're just gonna keep on going until we have it nice and even, or relatively even. Okay, we're almost there guys. All right guys, I think we are finished with the sand, so I'm gonna brush my hands off and now we're gonna get to putting the objects in. So first we have this giant hut right here that I think would look great in this corner right here. So we're gonna dig it into the sand so it stays nice and sturdy. Okay, now the next thing we have is I'm gonna put this giant plant and I'm gonna put it right here yeah that looks pretty good to me guys okay we're gonna dig that in right here 
Now we have the next giant plant right here. And then I'm gonna take this and put this one right about here. And then guys, we have the four little cute plants right here and then the little tunnel. So we're gonna put the tunnel in the front right here. And then we're just gonna fill out the surrounding area with these little shrubs here. And I think this is absolutely adorable. I mean, just look how cute these little plants are, guys. They're so tiny. So we're gonna put it right here. And the last one right here. We have the tank completely set up. Now guys, I think it came out great. We got the shrub set up, we got the tunnel set up, and it came out amazing. I mean, look how cute this is, and it is ready to put our axolotl inside. So guys, before we go ahead with that, we have to fill this tank up with a bunch of water. One eternity later. So guys, you can see we got the water almost filled to the top, but if you see, you're probably asking why the heck is it foggy? It's because since we poured a bunch of water in here, it made the sand unsettled, so we have to give the tank a little bit of time so the sand can settle down. But now it is time to put the conditioner in. So we have it right here. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna pop it open just like this. Okay, we got it guys. Now what it said on the back is for every 50 gallons, we have to do five milliliters of this. Now, since we are only using 10 gallons, we only have to use one milliliter. So we have our syringe right here and we are gonna stick it in and syringe the liquid up okay guys oh and we got nothing so we're gonna go again we're gonna try to stick it a little further in to make sure we really got it okay i think we got something guys okay so we got the liquid in but we got way too much so we're gonna pour it down back to one okay guys so now we're gonna put it evenly drop it everywhere just like this okay and we're gonna make sure we got it all by pulling it back out Okay, so now what I want to do is, since we have to mix it all around, we're going to take this spoon, just like this, and just mix it around, give it a nice little stir, but we're going to do it slowly so we don't mess up the sand. And now that we have it all mixed up, we must wait 20 minutes for this to really purify the water, take out all the bad impurities, so we can put the axolotl in. All right, guys, take a look right here. We have this little guy right here. What's up, buddy? I mean, look how crazy he is. Now, you're probably asking, why the heck do I have him in this container? That's because since I got him early this morning from the aquarium, I didn't have the tank for him to go in just yet. It was at my brother's house. So I didn't want him to lose oxygen, so I decided to improvise and put him right here. But of course, since these guys are known for jumping out of the water, we had to put the lid just like this so he could get oxygen, but we had to be careful that he wasn't gonna jump out. Now guys, if you take a look right here, you're probably asking, what the heck are these tentacles right there? Now those tentacles are actually his gills. Believe it or not, he breathes from those tentacles. Now these guys are part of the salamander group and unlike other amphibians, these guys stay underwater. They don't come up for air. They breathe underwater and they're known as the walking fish. Now guys, they look pretty, pretty crazy. Now you're probably used to seeing these axolotls right here, which are the pink axolotls. Well, they unfortunately didn't have me at the pet store, so we had to get this cute little guy right here. But guys, I want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below a name. What should I name this guy? Now, I don't know if he's a boy or a girl, so comment down both names and I may pick you in the next video. So guys, it's been about 20 minutes and it is time to put this guy in his new tank. So we're gonna go put the filter on and put him in his new home. So guys, as you can see, the tank is clearing up. It's a little cloudy and a little hazy because that is how the tank goes through its break-in cycle. Now this is totally normal. This is called bacterial bloom and it doesn't actually harm any fish or even this little axolotl. And it will take about a couple days to clear up, but it's totally normal. So if you look right here, we got the filter set up. You can see we have the water system that is gonna give extra oxygen in the tank. But the reason I put it against this glass right here is because if I turn it like this, you can see that it is a lot powerful and I don't want to stress out this axolotl so we have it right here so you can see the bubbles are slowly going in. So guys, this is the moment you have been waiting for. We are going to put this little guy in. Okay guys, so we're going to pick him up. And now I'm not going to pour all of this water in, but I'm going to try to get him on a side like this. Okay guys, so I'm going to click this. Okay, come on buddy, come on, come on. So it's gonna take a second now. Okay, come on. Let's go this way, guy. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, guys, look, I got him in. Okay, look, he is in his new tank and he completely just went to the bottom. 
Oh my goodness, guys, look at this little guy. I think he's loving his new tank. Guys, take a look right here. This guy is on the move. Now, he's not moving too much, but moving just a little because he's a little skeptical. He is scared because this is a brand new environment to him. So he has no idea where he is, guys. So it's obviously going to take some time for him to get used to this new giant take. Now, guys, that's going to conclude today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you all like how this tank came out or if you guys would do it differently. Now, if you want to find out what I named this guy and more animal videos like this, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.